Hey you guys, and welcome back to another writing video. Today is going to be, yet again, another monthly writing update. I don't know what it is about this year, and I know I say this every year, but this year is just going by so fast. I mean, I feel like my Christmas tree was just up, and now it's 89 degrees out, and oh my gosh, I can't even. But today is going to be my April writing update, a little bit late as we're just about to mid-May, but it's, I'll explain what's been going on. April has been oh, one of the busiest, busiest months of my life, and I don't, I say that with like, I know I say that all the time, but I'm not even joking how busy April has been, and I'll tell you guys all about it. First of all, not related to writing, but it's, I brought Salem home. Um, on April 3rd, Salem and I flew back from Boston to LA, and we were on our own. So for the first time, I was not only taking care of myself, I was taking care of her, and had, I mean, I've had a dog before, but I've never had one all by myself, like, 100% responsible, and it's a very big adjustment to going from just taking care of yourself to taking care of someone else when you're not even 20, and... It's been an insane month with potty training and training and getting things ready. And she did um, end up getting sick uh, about a week after I had her here for the first time. And that was terrifying. We were in the emergency room in the middle of the night. It was so scary. But I'm just so overwhelmingly lucky and blessed that I have such good friends here. That I have friends to come down to the emergency room with me in the middle of the night. And friends will help me with her. And just everything like that because I really don't know what I would have done if I was like all by myself so like shout out to friends who are so good and helpful and yeah getting into writing though Salem did like it was a lot of the month I was dealing with her and I was really tired one thing about me is after I fly sometimes it takes me a little to, to I love flying I love traveling but <clears throat> when I go back and forth to Boston sometimes it takes me a little a few days to like get back if that makes any sense <clears throat> so what they meant me is I require a ton of sleep like not normal how much sleep I require I need like minimum nine hours a night I'm I just like need so much sleep so I was a little bit sleep deprived for the first week just because of traveling and because of that that did hurt my writing like a tiny bit and let's start by saying April or big thing is talking about my guilty of love pilot my pilot script. I've had a lot of questions of people asking like, hey, you're gonna do an update on your pilot? Like, what's going on? What's like, how far are you in it? So that's gonna mostly be this video talking about my pilot because I'm, I mean, I figured it's basically this all, that was all of April for me. So beginning of April, I can't remember the exact day, I started my Guilty Love pilot and um, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like sometimes I come off and be like, oh yeah, that's just easy, that's easy, I'm not gonna lie starting it was not easy there was nothing easy about learning a new I have written a tv show before but I've never written a pilot and I've never written an original pilot and learning the format was very difficult and learning how to write things and I still have a very strong novel voice very strong that's probably my biggest problem in school and all that is that I have a very 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 um strong novelist voice that just keep sorry. sorry about that um that just I'm trying to figure out how to word this it just keeps pushing through and sometimes it's like overpowers my script voice and it's very noticeable and so that's sometimes one of the biggest problems and I do have that it's funny with me it always starting out is um is like when it's the strongest and then by the end of the script it's like I'm just writing like a normal screenwriter but always when I start a new project it's like whoa holy holy novel that's like a lot so I don't know it was just really at the beginning it was really um it was really strong and that like one of the, that's like usually like the main comment I get when I am doing work or when I'm working on something with other people and workshopping. It's like, wow, you sound like a novelist. So that was kind of hard to get over. But I think by page 30, that voice was just gone, which was really, really helpful. Um, really thankful. I'm all over the place. <clears throat> 
So going back to like Guilty of Love and writing it, I still have not picked a title. I'm calling it Guilty of Love for now. I've had some people suggest just calling it Maplecroft. I've had some people suggest calling it Mocker. And I do like both those ideas. I just don't know if either of them. I feel like, I'll be honest, I feel like I'm gonna probably end up calling it either one of those. But I'm just not dead set yet. Um, <clears throat> going on to Maplecroft, uh, if you guys haven't watched my last video all about creating fictional towns, I am, some of you did get it right that Maplecroft is the name of the Lizzie Borden mansion. So my town, my script, kind of everything is named after um, Lizzie Borden because she is so important to me and a very big part of my life. So I wanted to like make that an homage. Sorry. Um, make that, my phone's just going crazy, an homage to her. So that was really important to that. So if you guys got it right, congratulations. Yes, Maplecroft is the name of the Lizzie Borden Mansion and I'm going there for the first time in a month. I can't even. But going back to writing the script, not just what it's named after, it was just a lot of firsts. Like creating a fictional town for the first time, writing my first pilot. It was just a lot of firsts and getting used to that. And this will have to be into another video just because the subject is too broad, but the um, adaptation and realizing that what you wrote is not going to be what you're writing if that makes any sense that the book is going to not be the same as the script i mean like having to separate yourself and knowing like yeah the characters have the same names but everything is as different their goals are different their ages are even different just, everything is different and at the end of the day their names are the same and they live in the same state but th that's that's it and it's something that's always hard about pitching an idea that you've had inside you for so long and you're like married to and you know and then you're pitching it to other people and you're workshopping it and people are giving you their opinions and their advice and you do have to become more fluid and you can't be rigid like no this is happening and you need to you need to like go with the flow and change major things that maybe you didn't want to change but if, if, if you were outvoted it's just how it is and that's a big thing to learn and I feel like it did go over very well though and I am really lucky um so as of right now I am 35 pages no that's wrong I wrote last night. I am 40 pages in to my Guilty of Love script, meaning I have 20 or tw between 15 and 25 pages left, and I am done with my first pilot script. So April has definitely been a month, a very, um, I want to say a very productive month, because, like, I wrote most of it. Like, I went in with nothing. And I can see if I can f tell you guys what day I started the script. Um, I don't know how to do that. Can you find like date created? I don't know. I'm trying to find it. Let's see if I can tell you guys the date it was created. Yeah, I have no idea how to do this, but I know there's a way to find out like what date it was created, but um, I can't figure that out. But it was started in April. I just wish I knew the date because I know the date I started the book, but um, wrong thing. Um, <clears throat> The characters have definitely grown, which I'm so happy about, like, side characters like Gage and Avery, and they're just really blossoming and coming into their own, which I feel like they didn't get a huge chance to do that in the book, and getting to do that in the pilot is just really, it's just really exciting, and I feel like this month especially, if anything else, I've fallen in love with TV. I'm loving TV, I'm loving writing TV, and I think that as of now, that is what I want to focus on. That could change in a day, but as of now, that's what I'm really enjoying, and I can't believe I'm already 40 pages in and getting ready to finish up. And when I started, my series outlook, or my season outlook for Guilty of Love was kind of iffy. I was kind of like, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this. Kind of all over the place. But now, as my teacher said, he's like, once you write that pilot, it's going to be like you're gonna know you're gonna know what you want to write and he was so so right because already i'm getting ready to finish up the pilot i'm like i don't know what happened to season in episode two i don't know what episode three i want the, i know what i want the season finale to be everything just falls into place what i'm really really happy about and one thing which i'll talk about in another video but what i'm loving most is the feeling of when you finish you're not thinking about the characters which is something really difficult for me in writing um novels because once you finish you have to like say goodbye but when you're writing a, like a series you don't have to do that and I'm loving it um trying to my last two videos have been so long so I'm trying to wrap this up what else happened just a lot of pilot I got my um summer semester schedule in April so I'm getting ready for my summer semester of school 
and I'm going to be rewriting one of my features. I'm super excited about that because I will be rewriting Guilty Ghost of the Sea because I feel like I, if you didn't watch that video, go watch it. How it was like, I think I titled it like author fail something but I'm going back and I'm gonna fix the mistakes I made and it's just been a really overall fantastic and busy ass month um but to sum things up I feel like my life has really fallen into place in the last month and I feel like I've created this little family but like me and Salem and friends and everything's just falling into place exactly where it should be and we're getting a routine and things are going how I want them to go and I could not be happier living in a life with my puppy and my writing and like living with this dog and following my dreams and I just feel like this month I mean knock on wood everything stays good but I mean I know especially with my life things can change in an instant and they do change in an instant but it's just been a fantastic month and it ended when I got to go out to Idaho and I celebrated my nephew's third birthday three and I got to be around family and my nephew and Salem got to meet for the first time and oh, I can't even but um it was just overall a fantastic month and I know May is gonna be even better because I'm turning 20 wow um <laughs> and yeah quick little fun like little short 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 story I was in Starbucks a few weeks ago with Salem. I carried her in. She was still like really little. Um, she's huge now. Um, I carried her in and there was a little girl in front of standing in front of us and she had like a little stuffed dog. So I was like, oh. it was a golden retriever. So like I was like, oh, she's gonna turn around and see that there's a real dog. She's gonna freak out. So I was holding Salem and I kind of like put her low so the little girl could see her and she turned around and she saw Salem. She went, oh. she's like, can I pet her? I was like, of course. And then the mom turned around. She's like, Aria, pet Salem. And I like nearly died I was like oh, art I I couldn't even so yeah Salem met a little girl named Aria if that's not like a sign of something I don't know what it is but my characters are everywhere they're just everywhere all right I know this is all over the place but thank you guys so much for watching my April writing update stay tuned because I'll be finishing up my pilot script within a few days even I'm trying to write five pages a day and that is someone asked me a while ago like what do you do like what's your routine right now it's five pages a day and that's working super well for me so stay tuned because you'll be getting that i finished my first pilot script video very soon but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next wednesday for my next video bye